I'm here at Buckingham Palace. Hello everyone! Welcome to my home, Backing Home Palace! <laughs> Joke! Kidding aside, hello mga katsek! Good morning! For today's video, I will bring you with me as I tour around London with House of G UK! We're gonna start here at Buckingham Palace while waiting for Ate G to join me for this vlog. To start, let's do a fact check. Buckingham Palace serves as the official London residence of His Majesty the King and is one of the few remaining working royal palaces in the world. It is open to the public during summer months with tickets you can book in advance online. It is located in the city of Westminster. It has been a focal point for the British people at times of national rejoicing and mourning. Originally known as Buckingham House, the building at the core of today's palace was a large townhouse built for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703, then was acquired by King George III in 1761 as a private residence for the Queen Charlotte, then became known as the Queen's House. And then Buckingham Palace became the principal royal residence in 1837 on the ascension of Queen Victoria, the first monarch to reside there. <laughs> Still waiting for Ate G, and while doing that, I enjoyed the short performance of young artists here at the grounds of the palace, like this. Dumating na ang aking hinihintay si Ate G na kabini ng orange. Ang ganda! Makulay ang buhay! <laughs> so colorful Ate G! <laughs> Para akong bata dito na nawawala. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long! <laughs> So finally reunited! Alright, first activity with us is trespassing. <laughs> 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 We explored a little bit more at the grounds in front of the Buckingham Palace and Victoria Memorial, took a photos and videos at the Mall Avenue showcasing the flags of the United Kingdom and South Africa who was doing a state visit during this time. Hati G, Ikaw tour guide. You're the tour guide, so what avenue is this? Uh, Flag Avenue. Dito sa garden. Ah, we're going to the garden. Oh, good luck to my battery. <laughs> At busy po siya. Ate G, busy taking pictures. Mm, slow motion pa yan. Bago ako model sa aking YouTube. <laughs> Okay, back to the garden or park that we wanted to go after the Buckingham Palace visit, the St. James Park. St. James Park is a 90-acre park, the oldest royal park in London, and it features a large lake that is a wildlife sanctuary for ducks, geese, swans, and even pelicans. Its surroundings are covered in flowers, shrubbery, cypresses, among other plant life, transporting its visitors to a relaxing green oasis and making them forget that they are in the heart of London. This is a charming parkland area in the heart of London, 
bordered by Buckingham Palace to the west. Okay, now let's do the mandatory throwing of the fall colorful leaves. Take one. Take two. Take three. And take four. I definitely recommend this park as a must-see to visit especially if you're around Buckingham Palace area. I certainly enjoyed walking around and watching the ducks, swans, and squirrels. Black Swan! <laughs> Bigyan mo daw pagkain. Gardenya ang kinakain ng mga yan. <laughs> Namimili yung mga yan ng tinapay. Gusto yung gardenya. Other must-see known tourist spots around the area of Buckingham Palace are the Big Ben, Palace of Westminster, the London Eye View, Westminster Abbey Church, and Trafalgar Square which is a good walk from Big Ben through the Parliament Street. We are hungry, so we are heading now to Leicester Square to dine in. We will ride an underground tube to reach there and you can actually walk but we don't have energy left guys so we're just gonna ride the tube. <laughs> Welcome to Leicester Square! It is a very bustling square and there's a lot of people here and the area became known for its opulent hotels, audacious casinos, grand theaters, cinemas and music entertainment venues. It is definitely a global icon, a cultural hub and an entertainment epicenter. Whether you want to embrace the buzz of London's icon square or enjoy a relaxing meal, Leicester Square offers an abundance of restaurants and bars. And that is why we are here to eat. But before we talk more about Leicester Square, you first guess for now which restaurant we will choose to dine in. Jolly Bee, Filipino's favorite lang hapsarap. And both of us are really excited and very happy like the kiddos. Happy siya, my Jollibee. We ordered Jolly Spaghetti known for its sweet savory sauce and chicken joy of course. Jollibee is a Filipino chain of fast food restaurants owned by Jollibee Foods Corporation. And they have been serving their delicious Chicken Joy, Jolly Spaghetti, and Yum Burgers all over the world since 1978. Jollibee is best known for Chicken Joy and their signature fried chicken which is delicately hand-breaded to be crispalicious on the outside with a secret marinade making it juicilicious on the inside.
Since we are re-energized again, we are back to walking and exploring the busy streets of London. We walked through Leicester Square, then headed to the Covent Garden area, the yards, check out the street arts and beautiful Christmas decoration that time. Taking a stroll through the streets of London is definitely a great way to get to know the city. We also passed by Harry Potter Theatre as we headed towards Oxford Circus Streets. Looking for something free and unique artistic display? Then definitely head to Outernet London. It is just a stone away from huge Primark and Tottenham Court Road Tube Station. It is a massive cultural hub currently home to a free immersive art experience. It is a large-scale digital light artwork on the largest digital canvas in the world. Being able to walk from the busy street into this space with coming music playing all around you is very cool. It's definitely a perfect pit stop between shopping and grabbing lunch from nearby streets and best of all, it is free! But if you are here in London for a shopping spree, shopping in Oxford Street is the right passage as it is the home for the flagship stores of many of the world's largest brands. The choice on offer is amazing but can also be incredibly daunting. This walk has a lot of surprises indeed including this moving bar, a cool way to have a pint. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and check out the part 2 of our London visit next week. Bye! Bye-bye! Please like and subscribe! Huh?